Hi guys, welcome to the short video about how to find out what's behind your device folders on the Google Photos. So that's here in the in the backup of Google Photos, and we have the option here to select or deselect uh, single folders, but we don't know what's behind that. So it has always been like that in Google Photos for years, and in one of the latest updates they changed it, and it was visible. So you got uh, like a preview for all the folders here, but now they have removed it again. I really don't know why it was so nice. Now we have to find the other uh, options, but there's a workaround, or at least there's a possibility to find this pretty easily. So if you don't know where we are, when we go back here, I mean, you all know Google Photos, when we go to the profile and we go to uh, photo settings, we have the backup and sync. We see the backup device folders and we click on that. We see this just names, a lot of names from a lot of apps and the tools and whatever, but we don't see uh, the photos or sample images and we don't know if we really need them. I mean, it could be, I mean, you can turn everything on. I mean, yeah, you can do that, but you never know. There could be thousands of useless uh, pictures behind that uh, from uh, some kind of app or so. So you don't want to uh, have this. So how to do that? Uh, you can go to any app which uh, can do picture sharing like WhatsApp. And so you go into like communication with somebody and, and you click on the paper clip to add a picture. We click on gallery and here we click on Google Photos again, and we're getting close, and here you can see device folders, and here you have exactly same thing as you have on Google Photos, but here again we have a sample image for every folder. I don't know why Google has decided to remove to make it more complicated for users. I, I really don't get the point here. I really don't understand why they removed this really nice option here, and you can see. Yeah, now <laughs> it's updating again, but yeah, you have these strange folders, like for example, here with three images, we can even click on that, you can see, yeah, that's from security camera, and I know, okay, that this is something which I want, and so I can go to Google Photos, here back on Google Photos, and I know all these three folders here, they are important for me, and I want to have them uh, backed, to the Google Cloud and so uh, you can do this for all the things uh, maybe you write it down on a, a paper or so to don't so you don't have to go back and forth 100 times or you just go through the task manager like this back and forth every time so yeah you can do that and I've done this already for me and worked pretty well and I hope that Google can bring this nice option back. It was such a really great relief because uh, every time after installing a new app, we will have a new folder or even a couple of folders and you have to deal with that and try to find out if it's important or not for you. So yeah, that's it for now. I hope I've been able to help you a little bit with this video. If you have any questions or comments or better solutions, whatever you have, please write everything down into the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.